My name is I am from Abia State, but I base in Ibadan. I seriously need your advice because I am losing it. This is not something I will tell my friends for now. So I would like to get advice from you. As it stands now, I don't know whether I should divorce my wife or I should just manage and leave everything to go like that and make peace with her. As for my mother, I don't know what to do with her for now. I don't know whether I should say she saved me or whether I should say she betrayed me. I'm just in a state of confusion now. Please help me. This story started when I was seven years old. I was playing football with my peers. Someone gave me serious injury on my I was rushed to the hospital then. The doctors operated me and gave me treatment. After that, I was very, very fine. I grew up healthy and fine until when I married my wife. We stayed up to two years. My wife couldn't conceive. That was when we started going from hospital to hospital, from church to church, until one day, a doctor ran a test on me and told me most shocking news of my life. He said I have damaged testicles, that my testicles can't produce enough and quality sperm to impregnate a woman. I don't know how to explain all these their medical terms, but he just meant I am impotent. After much interactions with the doctor, we trust that the problem came with the injury I got from football when I was a kid. I kept this news to myself. I did not tell my wife because I was scared she would divorce me. I started seeking for solutions secretly, both in the hospital, churches and traditional homes, all to no avail. We continued seeking for solutions for four years, but nothing happened. One fateful evening, my wife announced to me that she's pregnant. I was shocked. I don't even know whether to be happy about it or to become sad. I asked her how manage. She said it's the miracle of God. One week after that day, I went back to the same doctor. He ran test again on me and still confirmed I can't give woman pregnant. From that day, my heart began to trouble me. I have too many questions running through my mind. Does it mean the doctors are getting the test wrong? Maybe I can father a child, but... They are not detecting it through the test. Or does it mean my wife is cheating on me? I started living a life with no peace. The main challenge is that I cannot confront my wife because I did not tell her what the doctor said about me not being able to father a child. I don't know how to ask her whether she cheated or whether she did not cheat. I kept managing my thinking until my wife gave birth to our little boy. We all celebrated it, but deep inside me, I was left with too much thinking. As my boy is growing, I'm not seeing any fatherly and son's bond between me and my boy. The love is not there. I just pretend in front of my wife that I love our son, but deep inside me, I'm not seeing any love. This continued until my boy clocked seven months old. That was when I decided to free myself from this bondage of thinking. I decided to let the cat out of the bag. I woke my wife very early in the morning and asked her who is the real father of our son. She was shocked from the question. She stared at me for almost a minute without saying a word. I asked her again. She started shouting and asking me, does it mean I cannot be able to impregnate her? Does it mean she's living with another man, if not me? She said many things that morning and later started crying that I am accusing her of cheating. Hmm. I started pleading and talking to her to calm down. That was when another state of confusion entered me. My wife is not accepting that she cheated on me. My test result is still showing I can't father a child. Fast forward to two weeks after that day, I decided to fully tell my wife everything. I woke her up around 2 a.m. and handed the test result over to her. She opened the result and kept staring at it. She did not say any word. I asked her to tell me what the results said. She was still not saying anything. I collected the results from her and read it out myself. After reading the result, I asked her for another time. Are you cheating on me? She still didn't utter any word. When I started shouting was also when she started shouting at me that I knew this all these years, but I kept it to myself. That she has been going to different places, taking different kinds of medicines, not knowing that the problem is never from her. She said I betrayed her, that I wanted her to remain childless till she joined her ancestors. She said many things that I can't remember. 
and she threatened to divorce me and tell the whole world that I can't father a child. I kept quiet and started feeling I was so wrong to hide this from her. I burst out crying at my word. I started questioning God, why God allowed such to happen to me. I could remember this happened on Saturday, so I did not go to work that morning. One spirit told me to plead with my wife in calm manner so that I'll be able to find out the truth. When she finished batting and feeding our boy that morning, our boy slept off. I went to my wife and kneeled down before her in tears. I told her I was very sorry deeply for not telling her all these years that I found out after two years of staying with her. So I have the fear she will divorce me. I pleaded deeply for her forgiveness. She ignored me. I kept on talking to her and pleading with her for days, for days, before she agreed to speak up. My wife told me another part that shocked me. She said that she found out that I can't father a child when my mother visited us that year before she got pregnant. That it was my mother who told her that I can't father a child, that she should find a way from another place. That my mom said the doctor told her about it a long time ago. I started questioning my mind immediately. How did my mother find out about it? Does it mean my mom knows all this for years and kept it to herself? Which doctor in particular told my mom this? I turned to my wife and asked her again. After my mom told you all this, did you let her cheat on me? She said yes. She said that that was how she got our son. I became so weak and down. I later called my mom that day that I want to see her as soon as possible. I sent money for her transport immediately. After three days, she came to my house. When I came back from work, the first thing she complained was that I am now too skinny. She scolded my wife that she's not feeding me well. I told her I am feeding well, just that I'm a bit stressed up. Later that night, after we've had our dinner, I called my mom's attention and asked her how she found out I can't father a child. She kept quiet for some time, but she later started talking. She later started saying the words I need to hear. She said it was the doctor who operated me when I had injury that told her about it. That before the operation, the doctors told her it's 50-50, but she doesn't have any other choice other than to sign the papers. Few months after the operation, when she took me to the hospital for checkup, the doctors told her I couldn't make it, that my testicles have ruptured. She said she cried to her best friend, who is now late. The late friend was the one that advised her not to tell me because I am her only son and maybe out of frustration, I might end my life or I might decide not to get married forever, which will end the family name. Her late friend was also the one that advised her that she should make sure that her son gets married to any lady who seems to listen to her and accept her as her own mother. She said when she told my wife about it, that my wife did not agree in the first place, that she chose to divorce me instead of cheating. She, my mother, was the one who teach my wife how to go about it before she later accepted. My mom turned to me and started pleading with me. She said all she was trying to do is to make sure our family name don't end and also to make sure that she see me happy. I now turned to my wife and asked her, who is the man behind the pregnancy? She said the guy is in Lagos, that she met with the guy when she went for a church program. She said the guy was not aware she is married and he's not aware also that she got pregnant. She stayed with the guy throughout the four days of the church program. When she comes back and let her find out she's pregnant, she did not tell the guy. Instead, she blocked the guy from calling her. That she don't know anything more about the guy. Likewise, the guy did not know anything more about her. My wife and my mom started pleading with me that I should forget about what happened and forge ahead with my wife. That if we keep it secret, that no one else, apart from three of us, we know that I am not the real father of our son. My mom gave me instances of many people who did the same in our village and things are normal with them. Ma, please, as it stands now, I need your advice because I've seen you are helping people. Is it right to stay with a woman who you know she's cheating on you? Also, for our boy, who is not my race son, is it okay for me to accept him and take him as my own biological son? Does it mean that anytime we wish to have another baby, my wife will still have to cheat? Please, ma, help me. I'm in state of confusion now. Hello, guys. This is a message I got from one of my followers. 
like when I got this message, I was in a state of confusion also. Like I don't know what actually to tell him that moment. I later told him, I later replied him that I will read out this his message so that other of my followers can listen to it and give him their own opinion. You understand? So I am reading it out now so that you can drop your own opinion on the comment section. He will be on the comment section to listen to your advice. Please, while you are giving him advice, remember he is in state of confusion now and he don't need any word that will hurt him the more. You understand? So please drop your opinion. If you know anything that he can do so that peace will reign in this marriage so that he can be able to forge ahead, please drop it on the comment section. He will be there to read it and please be polite with the kind of words you use. You understand? So see you in the comment section and remain blessed. Thank you so much for watching.